success. Yeah, no doubt. They, you know, they've had a great program through the years, great coaches, great players. Uh, Matt's done a great job there um, coaching them. And it's just a different time right now and how you start. And, and we have to prepare for Valpo's best. And, and they haven't played their best basketball yet. Um, and neither have we. Uh, but we got to get better from one game to the next. And I think that's more of our focus. Um, I had a couple up, up, up there and watched film the other day. And they probably thought that, you know, we got beat by 40 instead of won by 40. Because that's, that's the whole thing. Like, you get better. Like, you got to know when you struggle that you've done some good things. And you got to know when you have success that you're still making some mistakes. And you got to keep that balance as a player and, and, and stay on edge. Because it's about your improvement. It's about getting better. And, uh, you know, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to prepare for a different opponent, a different style, and, you know, and keep our focus and keep growing as a group. Obviously, your team is making shots. Do you feel like they're taking the right shots? You're doing a good job with the whole process involved in getting the shots? Well, you, you play different styles. So we've played three completely different styles. And um, uh, I, I thought our guys moved the ball well, and we, we got some good rhythm shots, especially from Sasha and from Brandon. And, um, you know, they really carried the load in terms of, you know, making those threes. Then we had some other guys sprinkling some threes. Um, to get to a pretty good number. But, no, just trying to execute and take care of the basketball. I thought um, the first five minutes of the game we did not do that. And then after, after that, we did a pretty good job. So it was good against that style and that zone. I thought our guys made some adjustments. And I wish Zach could have played more in, you know, in the first half. He got you know, a couple fouls and had to get out of there because I definitely thought we had a matchup with him. And uh, could really cause them problems, you know, being at the rim in the zone that they were playing. Gets, he's come in here and he's worked really hard and he's made quick uh, strides and he's been able to adjust to some things and he's been productive. And so I think that's a, a good way to, to get yourself, you know, in that position. But no, his comparison is he's his own guy, you know, in terms of being seven, three and a half barefooted, um, he could move better than the really big guys. Like Juwan Johnson could move, but he also came here and he was 6'10", 190, and ended up being 220. He wasn't 300 pounds. But, you know, he gets compared to Isaac. Isaac's a little bigger than he is. He's a little taller. He could move better. Um, he's, from the really big guys, um, he's the best rebounder. You know, from A.J. Hammonds to Haas to Harms, he's the best rebounder. Now, he's, I don't know if he's as good a rebounder as Swanigan or, or, or Travion. You know, time will tell. Um, from that, but he also is, you know, playing 18 minutes a game. And I think that's also his difference to a couple of those when he's younger is that his stamina is pretty good and he can run and move and he doesn't get tired as quickly. Um, Are there some advantages uh, to getting a guy who hasn't played a yeah. lot of basketball in his life because he doesn't have all those mistakes? Yeah. He doesn't make all those mistakes that you make as a kid. Yeah, and he's actually listening to you. You know, that's what, like, you know, each guy's got, like, four or five people that they talk to. And I always say I don't have to be top on the list. I just like to be on the list, you know. And, and so, like, you've got to be able to get to people and get to guys because it's your ability to play with other people that make us successful. And if you get guys that are just good and they can't play with anybody else, and you know, what's the purpose? It's a team game. So he's, he's been able to be a sponge and, and take things in. And um, sometimes when your expectations are a little bit different, it's easier. You, you, you've made life easier on you because you're just doing your best and you're fine with doing your best. Whereas like sometimes young guys come in your program and then all of a sudden they, they don't have success right away and then everybody wants to know what's wrong. Well, it's hard. Everybody else is older than you. Everybody else is more experienced than you. And they're good players too. And that's what competition is. And so you learn from your mistakes and you learn from adversity. And sometimes you got to learn from – and you got to sit and watch. And, and some in, in our culture, like, guys don't like to do that. They don't want to do that. And so they, they get on the move real quick. But the guys that stay normally end up being champions. Matt, just uh, kind of a follow-up with Zach. Just, you know, Micah said the other day that he, he's always up there watching film and he wants to be coached. How refreshing of a – of approach is that to have with a player of this game? Yeah. Well, what's been refreshing for us is that we have, you know, a majority of our guys, if not all of our guys that are that way, especially the guys that are, you know, that are playing. You know, those guys are up there living, our freshmen are up there living in the office 
you know, trying to get better. So it's just not him. And so that's really been contagious with this group is these guys are understanding um, that they need to learn our system. They need to learn the game. They need to watch film. Um, you know, that's the one person that's not going to lie to them is that film. And so you can say a lot of different things, but when you watch yourself and you're honest with yourself, you can really make some strides. And so he's just one of many that have put in that, that, that kind of time and, and, and been able to work at it, um, whether that's extra work, you know, basketball-wise after practice or it's coming up to the office watching extra film. It just, uh, I mean, 